Hello, welcome to my Dancom Training Channel. Today we are going to focus our attention to the headers and footers. And um, headers and footers and page numbering are actually can be found on that insert. Insert. When you click on insert here, you come to the header and you see this segment. So when you have header footers and page number, page number. Oh well, many of us use this header footer page number but in what 2016 we are going to see how beautiful we can make use of this uh, as you can see on my page already you can see my own footer that is the footer there that is from the bottom part of the page and then uh, could have the air header as well as another thing and we are going to show you you can see page number here uh, many of us don't have this um, many of us don't use this how we know that we can just come to the header well type whatever pleases us as a header and then that becomes our header that is what many of us are familiar with and many of us are familiar with just uh, having a number at the bottom well nothing wrong with that because it's actually good if that's what you really want but uh, in 2016 Microsoft Word it may be of interest for you to know that you can do just what you have seen on my page if not even more so please allow me to show you step by step how you can use header and footer and many other new features that can be found in Word 2016 when it comes to header footer and page number so we're gonna start by giving you a fresh new page well, I'm not gonna deal with this because I've already worked on this so let me give you something new so that we can work with that and uh, create something beautiful so as earlier mentioned header footers can be found under insert under insert so you come to this segment um, this group that uh, is called header footer header footer all right so now what's what we do with header header there are many ways of using header you could after clicking on insert come in here and click on it as you click on it you may decide how and what pattern suit you best take for example that many of us use this and hold on where we can just start typing tech for example let me just remind the computer training channel all right we are familiar with this channel now definitely of course we can make use of this and we can reduce the font you know normal way of reducing your font and um, the size and uh, you can even change the font we will get to that and many other things so many of us are familiar with this but um, some of us are not aware that we can do more of course when you are typing when you are working on the header you would have to leave the header you could just come in here and click on close header then it becomes uh, uh, the header for all the pages that will come and so on you can see i'm now on um, page seven and all the pages carry the same header okay i'm sure we can see it good but what some of us may not know is that you can choose something rather than this nature of header you could choose a picture as your header you could do any of many other editing I'm deleting this now uh, I'm sorry did not mention how I go back to the header but instead of always going to those um, going to insert going to header I, I can just double click on the topmost margin of my page and my header will be um, I active so I could rather use a picture as Elliot uh, mentioned in uh, one of the tutorials on how to use a uh, picture on a page on the Microsoft Word that we can get it online and we can also obtain it from our drive space on, as well as our system so let's use our system for this purpose of this you could have your, uh, an image maybe the image that will actually highlight a bit more of what you're doing as uh, the case maybe all right let me just use whatever okay i can resize it to suit what i want that's my header this this same pattern is applicable on the footer so if i want more than a picture i can go back and do the same of course it's quite easy i can go back to the same process and add more and keep inserting them until i am done until i am done so 
exam process, go back to pictures and keep adding more headers. Okay, so it's as simple as this. So you can resize it to so whatever you want, on and on and on, as many as you want. At the end of the day, it becomes a header. You can see it here. So I we we'll just double click outside for you to see. Okay. But we can increase as much as you want. So the header does not always have to do well be with the typing only. You could choose a header different from uh, the regular one. Alright now let's go to uh, some other part. We have discussed on header. Hopefully that you are getting a long one. So uh, of course you know you can use this. You can go with many other designs and uh, each and these designs are actually very beautiful so you can see them now so do not just get settled for only the ones you have always been familiar with please do something different you can see it here I'm try whatever i type mm, let's go to my hand computer all right headers will carry this. This can be applicable to the footer too when we have the footer. So I'm just done clicking it again to align whatever I wanted. So it is very simple. I'm sure all of us will make use of this. Let's go back. Now we have discussed a bit on the header. Now what about the footer? Okay, okay, let's just take another one more style of the header. Okay, let's just take this for example. See? Do you notice what happened here? So you can actually modify your header. It gives a pitch number from your header and you can see in different style. And of course, you can even edit what you have there. You can change the type of fonts. You can increase the fonts. You can do much in order to improve your work. And uh, even the color of uh, what you are seeing as a design can be changed. So there is no rigid rule when it comes to most of these things. It's just a matter of having a good knowledge of it, and we can come at very uh, beautiful, come up with something very beautiful when it comes to the use of the header, folder, and page number. All right. Now we cannot go uh, through everything. Now let's move a little to uh, footer, footer. All right. Footer actually allowed you to have the pitch into page natural work at the bottom or as the case maybe nowadays you can patronate it rather than the bottom to the side and many other things okay okay basically the design for the bottom okay so you could choose any of these as your pattern and whatever you choose start and if you are not satisfied with whatever you have chosen go ahead to use the image and many other means and uh, it should be quite okay you are at liberty to edit and give it a name. Um, all right, don't mind. You know, always good at using my then. All right. All right. So whatever I accept, even the number or, or or whatever pleases me, becomes my footer. But all right. Now let's back to the footer. Okay. Choose any pattern of your choice that you love most, and let that become your footer. Okay. So if this is what I want, if I want to add any information, I, I'm at liberty to type them here, and uh, it will go alongside my footer. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's just take for example. This is what we choose to. So that is how you can use footer. You can make use of many other things involved. Just double click on it to edit and remove whatever you don't like and leave whatever pleases you. And then you can have a beautiful footer. Now let's quickly go to the page number. Page number. Page number. All right, page number in most cases we use page number to number our pages work and so on but then in this time we are going to show you much more you can do as you are numbering your page now you see if you want to number it on top 
top of the page you are liberty to do so if you want to number at the bottom and then decide whether to be a left aligned center right and so on you can use this and much more can be found as you throw it down to the bottom different pattern that may best suit what you want uh, like the one you saw us using earlier on was actually um let's see which one was that um we use um, the one from the side all right all right i think we are almost there okay this is the one we used earlier on okay mm, the vertical outline the vertical outline on that vertical outline was what this what we use so you can use this and you can decide where it should be should it be close to the bottom should it be close to the top should i change the color should i change the background what more do i need to all of them are found under here do i need to rotate what do i rotate should i rotate the little color attached to it or should i rotate the work itself everything can be done and can be found under that same place okay so we can use header footer and page number with ease and we can actually customize it to actually suit what we want so do not only get used to the um the conventional or the default headers footers and numbers that we are always um, using um, i think uh, we are good to explore a little more when it comes to what 2016 so that we can learn much more on how to use the header folder and page number and uh, if you want to remove them you can have them here if you want to format the page number maybe more editing you can use it here and all these features can actually work in order to improve this particular um, header folder and page number so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you do leave me a like and then share the video um i hope to see you in our next video please stay with the channel thank you and bye for now